It's a polynomial. God! Uh, um. Explanation. You doing the Lester? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. God, I just don't get this. Uh, I, I just gave up like half an hour ago. Now I'm just drawing pictures. I mean, what does an exclamation point mean? It just looks. That's not math. That's English. We can get some help in this. What's that? I I think someone's at the door. Who? Let's stick at the door. Well, hey there, kids. I've come to help you guys. And you are? Glad you asked. My name is Professor Math E. Maddox. Math E. What? Math E. Maddox. Mathemat. It's a pun. Mathematics. Oh. This stuff is impossible. Not even the book can help us. Right, Lester? Yeah. Well, when I'm done, you won't even need the book. The, f the first word, kids, is degree. Is it hot in here? No. It's just degree. The degree is the exponent of the variable. Can a degree be negative? Yes. Yes, they can. Oh. The next word is polynomial, which is a monomial or the sum of monomials, like we have here. Hey, is it like a ski? I'm no fool. I said sum. Now, this thing, the exclamation point, um, Five exclamation point means um, five times four times three times two times one. That equals one twenty. Isn't it called five factorial? Mm -hmm. <sighs> yes. What? Oh, see, like like that. Oh, I get it. See, it makes yeah. sense now. Thank you. <laughs> the next word, kids is matrix. This is a matrix. You see, a matrix is a rectangular array of numbers written within brackets. The numbers going this way, so those are your rows. Numbers going up and down, it's your columns. So is it like the movie? Why are you here? I'm sorry. Well, next word, constant. The constant of polynomial, remember those? Here's your polynomial, there's your constant. The constant doesn't have a variable. Always remember that. Doesn't have a variable. Any questions? No, it all makes sense. No, it makes sense. I, I, I get it, it's good. Mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, dude. Moving on. Linear polynomials have a degree of only one. See? Mm. There's no little square mm. or cube or anything. It's, it's only one. Thank you, teacher. Hmm? 
quadratic is a polynomial with a degree of 2. Professor, can it have a degree greater than 2? No, Shalanda, no, it can't. Huh? Cubic polynomials, unlike their quadratic and linear counterparts, have degrees of three. Not two, that's quadratic. Not one, it's linear. But three, cubic. <laughs> <laughs> A quartic polynomial has a degree of four. <coughs> not three like cubic. Not two like quadratic. Not one like that little linear term. But four. Oh. Quintic polynomials have degrees of five. Hmm? Now class, hold on to your desks. This here is polynomial long division. I'll show you guys a thing or two. <clears throat> Put the x there. Now x times x is x squared. And x times negative 3 is negative 3x, naturally. But, you must always remember, Turn this negative, so that becomes negative x squared plus 3x. So what's that give you? Gives you 6x. So you bring down this thing. 6x, there's your new problem. How many times x to go into 6x? It goes in 6 times. So 6, there's, there it is again. 6 um, times negative 3 is negative 18. But... What are we supposed to do, class? What are we supposed to do, class? Hmm. Turn it negative! That's right! And so, we do this, and class, what's negative 12 plus 18? Six. That's right! And that's your remainder. So your answer is, class, x plus 6 remainder 6. It's recording. Okay, sh just shut up now. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, okay. Polynomial long division was a hoot, wasn't it, class? Yeah. Well, I got something special for you guys. Now, I didn't give this to my other period. This here is synthetic division. Let's show you guys how to do it now. So what you do is you get your constant, bring it down, Make it negative, so it becomes a negative one. Then you bring um, these l numbers down, like just the numbers. Yes. Okay. And then you do this, and then you bring this one down for some reason. Why? And, uh, no talking in class. <sighs> Then you multiply this number, this one, by all this stuff down here. So negative 1 times 3 equals negative 3. Now you add this. Negative 4 plus negative 3 equals negative 7. So negative 7 times negative 1, 7. Why 7? Because that's the answer. Now 2 plus 7 is 9. Negative 1 times 9 is negative 9. Now negative 1 plus negative 9. What is it, class? Negative 10. 
very good, Timothy Ryan. Now, all you have to do now is, is do this. Look, look. See, this becomes, um, you go back up here and you look, and it becomes, um, 3x squared, because it's not cubed no more. It's gone. Minus 7x plus 9 remainder negative 2. That's the lesson. Cut! Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Well, kids, sure was fun. And I hope you had fun learning from me. I sure had fun teaching. Hey! No eating! Sorry. Sorry. And that crap with the pretzels? It's not funny. Sorry. Alright. Next time I see you guys. Better see A's on those tests. Okay, get the tape on. You'll leave it up, for Christ's sake.